Good afternoon on Tuesday the 9th of February and I don't think I have necessarily chosen the best of dates for my car to go in for a service, but never mind. I hope that the day is going well for each one of you and may the Lord be with you. Our opening prayer. Lord, you give us life, you give us love, you give us yourself. Help us to give our lives, our love and ourselves to you and to others through Christ who died and rose again for us. Amen. Today's readings are from the second letter of Timothy, chapter 4, verses 9 to 22 and Psalm 33. And before I continue, I mustn't forget to say happy birthday to my friend Helen. We sent birthday wishes to her husband Simon last May and I don't think that I ever expected that I'd be doing exactly the same for Helen nine months later. It's the first time for over 30 years that we haven't met her for either a birthday meal or an overnight stay. But like many other things, we hope that it will happen later in the year because getting together or having a reunion is important, whether it is for a birthday, a family gathering, or maybe a work or school reunion. Particularly at reunions, I find that conversations start by discussing how much we have or haven't changed in appearance over the years. Then we seem to swap memories and catch up with what we've done since we last met each other. And then the conversation becomes a little bit more halty. And sooner or later, people are being mentioned who you've absolutely no idea who they are. You've just got to have a good line in mm and nodding your head at what you think is the right place and hope that you're not asked to contribute a suggestion or opinion about that person. And if you think about it, when you begin to add up, it's rather surprising how many people you know, either directly or indirectly. And for someone like St. Paul, with his travels and missionary ministry work, he must have known a great number of people. There were three missionary trips in the Eastern Mediterranean, and then that final journey to Rome. And this leads us to the question, who are Erastus, Trophimus, Titicus, Prudence, and the others who crop up in our reading from Paul's letter to Timothy today? I suspect that a house named Aquila which I walked past recently, wasn't called after the person in this reading. But who knows? What we can say is that each of these people must have been very important to Paul. They stuck in his memory. He remembered their names and where they lived. And we hope that they had an equally important impact on Timothy and his ministry as God's work moved on from Paul to the next generation. We now come to the community prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you that you are always everywhere. We pray for the areas of Mill Hill, Gallagher, Bank Top and Witten. We think of everyone who lives in them, all who work there, 
and those who pass through these areas during their daily lives. We ask that you give us the eyes to see your vision for these places. Amen. For today's prayer points, picking up on our readings, let's give thanks for family, friends and colleagues. Let's pray for those organisations who support people in need. And let's pray for our local school or schools. I now invite you to join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen do please take care and our final blessing the lord's love refresh you the sun's healing restore you the Spirit's power direct you, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you today and evermore.